Yo, what's up, everyone? This is Dark Horse. I'm doing well. So basically, I went into my first game, got about five, well, say five minutes. We waited for someone to join and stuff like that. And then before you know it, guess what was happening? It's Mystic Mine. Yay. That's literally all it seems to be that I'm going up against at this point in time. Um, and if it comes to it, I'll just build my own Mystic Mine deck and we'll just be a little tramp with it. I don't particularly want to. I think we're eight wins away from victory. Really? This is my hand? You know what? I fucking give up on Yu-Gi-Oh. My, my hand, my draws. Like, I've been doing this for a couple of hours now, maybe three hours at a push. You know, and... I have pulled the shittest hand... It's great because I can go to obviously the Keiju and stuff like that, you know what I mean? And then you crack down on it, but it's just... <sighs> this deck contains trap cards that can be destroyed to special summon monsters. It also has monsters that can destroy spell and trap cards to special summon bigger monsters. And I don't pull any of them. I may as well just be running Keijus at this point. Well, I'll be damned. Hallelujah. Add one and chain card. See, that'd be great if um, I had something really to work with, to be honest. Right, I'm going to go for two infinite impermanences on either side, and that way we can probably, hopefully, negate the spell card. Uh, if you set card was in the there is no spell trap cards in this column are negated. Mate, I swear, if you're running Mystic Mine, I'm gonna go mad. Oh, it's Cubix. Well played, well played, well played. Ugh. My own deck has come back to haunt me. But you know what? I can make that work. So I appreciate that. But I appreciate having my Cubix on my side of the field. Thank you. Now, where were we? You want to go again? You want to summon Duma? That's the nerve. See, I've dr I've grown close to Cubics, man. You can only use, okay. You can send one Cubic card from your hand to the graveyard if you do draw one. Okay, you banish the card from your graveyard, take one Cubic in your graveyard. See, I don't run Dharma. That's good, though. That trap card being in the graveyard is good because now if I destroy a Cubic monster... You can special summon a level four. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I literally can't do anything. This is tragic, man. Uh Right, so be it. Abomination's prison. Do, 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 do. Right. I'll go for Aruha. I'm going to destroy a spell of trap card to bring it out. No way. Don't need to do that. Got no choice. Oh, what? That's not the actual play I was hoping for. I was. Oh, I don't know. So be it. At least I can still attack. That's the main thing. When an opponent special summon cubic, change that attack time before them. If your opponent's life wants at least two thousand, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Okay. Not bad. It's a pretty effective play, but can I chain? Can you can I chain here? Can I chain? That is a no. That is an that is definitely a no. I don't understand why we can't target. That's the biggest 
bullshit ever. Oh, I am my turn. I can't really do much anyway. Either way, you know, if this is destroyed by card effect or by battle, you can special someone in chain. But then my effect's negated, so it kind of doesn't make a difference. It's, it's interesting, though, because normally Cubics are an OTK-type deck, and they absolutely dominate, you know. But he runs cards I wouldn't normally run. Like, Dharma. Uh, yes... I'll go for infinite impermanence. Thank you very much. We're just out here negating everyone's attacks and stuff, man. It's hilarious. This is so funny. See, the the play he could have went with is obviously summon Duzar, send Cubic Karma, I think it's called, uh, the hurricane looking card, and then banish it and then add another Cubic uh, Nova Lord. Well, Crimson Nova the Dark Cubic Lord. I've got those cards somewhere. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I have. I have. I have got the Cubic cards. Not bad. Uh. Okay. The way I view it is I could technically tribute... Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, normal summon, tribute two monsters. Yeah. This doesn't play off, then we're, we're screwed. Should be fine. Can't see why it wouldn't be fine, though, if I'm being completely honest. Distribute a number of cubic counters on face monsters up to the number. I don't... Uh, mate, this is... This... That's bad. That's actually very bad. Well played, man, you jammy little bugger. Unbelievable. That could not have gone any worse for me. Do I have a level... I don't even think I even have a level 8 in the graveyard. No, I don't. So it wouldn't even work. Okay. Jesus. So... Wait, that can still attack, can it? Won't activate it. Unbelievable. Well, the way I view it is we will take 1600 damage, yeah? Okay, that allows you to have another Doozer special summon to the field. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Um... No. It's weird because we're both running decks that should be dominating. And this is why this duel is so impressive and really good. Like, I would love to... Ha I, I prefer to do YouTube episodes of this. Um, yeah, I'm going to activate infinite impermanence here. Negate that on you. mad man we're both just negating each other's effects it's crazy okay so you can now attack for 1600 to be fair you probably yeah i don't this is such an impre interesting duel because 
I need you to destroy my monster, then attack me directly. I activate Dark Spirit. Special summon that. Activate that card's effect. Now, this is fine, because basically... This card on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect. You can take one and chain monster in your graveyard, yeah? And then special summon it. So that's fine. Because now I can special summon our 1500 attack monster. Which kind of protects us anyway. Also I've got Dark Spirit to protect us. If I need to. I can go battle phase. Destroy my own monster by attacking his Doozar. And then. Yes. Special summon another solar disaster again. Activating its effect. And then that way I can target Doozar again without the repercussions of obviously being targeted by the Cubit. Boom. Oh my word, how many wins do we need? I can't, we're at 485, I think I need 7. <laughs> but yeah, that was a really interesting duel. I was actually, I was kind of, the thing is with them type of duels is I, I love doing them. But I don't like redoing them. So if I bump into the guy again, I don't want to face him again because it's just. It's more intense. You know what I mean? Because you know what to expect. And you, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Right. <laughs> oh. it's, it's weird because obviously the excitement from going from seven wins to five wins, five wins. You know how long we've been working on this project? And I feel the problem is, yeah, I have this. Obviously, I've spoken about it before in another video. I have this obsessive, like, addictive thing where if I pursue something, I become very addicted to it. You know what I mean? Like, not as in, like, it's not in every aspect, but, like, career wise as well. Like, I'm not like, this girl, give me this girl. I don't know why my, my I don't cockeyed it. I don't know. Uh, but, you know. But for me, it's, um,. Alright, play that card face down. Play that card face down. Activate your effect. Destroy. Special summon. But yeah, what I'm saying is like, I just... If I put something in my head, I'm going to fulfill it. Kind of thing. You know what I mean? Nah, there's no point bringing you out. I'll bring Unchained Disaster out. You know what? Putting it there is probably a mistake for me. I'm hoping this guy rage quits. I keep bashing my knee off the computer and everything's rocking like... Rocking like a little loser. To be fair, he might even be able to bring Relinquish Anima out. I'm not going to count my chickens before they hatch, but I'll just have to target a monster. And then, during your opponent's main phase, you can take one phase to special summon monster. Your opponent controls immediately after this effect resolves. Link summon. Okay, so it'd have to special summon. But it's fine, because even if he just destroy it and attack directly, or even try to add cards from his deck to his hand, I've got Ash Blossom, and then obviously I've got Dark Spirit, which will allow me to special summon Solar Disaster. Add for Solar Disaster's face next turn yeah okay dark contract to be fair i did not see that coming i'm loving these random decks people are running but yeah i'm gonna ash blossom appreciate it mate but not today mate you know what i mean not today Okay, you can fusion. Oh, mate, that's just beautiful. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Keep going. Come on, keep me in that. You've walked right into my monster's effect. In doing that, you've screwed yourself a treat. 
What's it going to bring out? The one that increases the life points? Or does it increase or does it just not? Oh. Interesting. Wait, can we not? Why is it not letting me target it? Just to be on the safe side, you never know. Oh, to be fair, well played. He did good there, you know. It kind of worked in his favour. I probably should have waited then, really. I just think it's a joke, man, that you can just literally snatch up someone's special summon monster. Everything relies on special summon as well. You target one face up monster, you put me if a link summon. Okay. It's not even a quick effect, so I have to do it on my own turn. See, the thing is with this deck, you cannot count. This is one thing that's so sick about DD and Declan itself. Is you can't count the chickens before they hatch. Because there is always some alternative method. I don't think he would have brought that out, to be honest. I thought he would have went for maybe like a level 4. Because I think there's a level 7 DDD synchro. Which is, is fucking disgusting. But then at the same time, he's going for a Link summon. Uh, oh. DDs are so one of the... Mate, I don't, I don't know how to run them myself, but they are definitely one of the best decks out there. So now, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest. It also plays two DDs. Yes. Yeah, so, well, I'll be damned. Well played for this guy. This guy's turning this all around like it's nothing. Unbelievable. Well played. Well played. Okay. You can negate an activated spell that inflict damage to you. This is interesting, you know, because he might be able to link into something more and then take my monster. This is impressive. I'm enjoying this. The DDD and the Unchained of absolute phenomenal power. It's it, it's weird, like because normally, obviously, when it comes to people, obviously playing games, they pretend to choose what one they prefer from Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Digimon, you know, Beyblade, and all that kind of stuff. Where I think people like played it, but they didn't follow it, kind of thing. You know, like not to an extent. Where me. I know I don't watch much Pokemon, and I haven't even, to be fair, I haven't even caught up on uh, Vrains, to be fair. And they've already started Sevens, so... Yeah, it's crazy. So this guy's gonna then XZ into two level eights. Damn! This is... Uh, the thing is, I can't even complain that duels like this, because, because we're in the last ten of our wins and obviously it's nice to see something different other than the ordinary from invoke dark magician you know mine what's the spell cut mine thingy minefield or whatever mystic mine that's it yeah so it's it's, it's really cool to see Okay, so if I was to activate this, Dark Spirit of Banishment, whatever, special summon you in defense mode, and then force you to attack that. Just want to double check something. See? Ooh. 
Special summon. There we go. See, the question is, is, is he going to attack it head on? 18-18. It is. Okay. I feel like he, I feel like he didn't really have much of a choice. It's crazy, man. The thing is, oh, this is impressive. I this is going to be very cut neck. Oh, it's so good. I didn't even know you could even cycle them cards, but that's disgusting. You know, this is this is where it's going to get very, very, very interesting now. Interesting. Is there anything you've got to negate that? There isn't. Oh, shit. Yo. <laughs> oh, word. You got to have some... Nah, nah, you might not have anything, to be fair. Bottomless oh, trap hole. Oh, my God. It banished it. Well, oh my god. Yo, I told you this is where the door gets interesting. Unbelievable. Wow. I was literally, I had the perfect card to counter it. And then this guy is going in. Mate. Well played. Well played. It's probably one of my m most satisfied things. Okay. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Okay. So now you can do fusion summon from your hand or field. But then, what are you going to do? Can you fusion your pendulum monster with your actual monster? Surely not. Oh, if summoning a DD... Oh, okay. If summoning a DD fusion monster... Okay. Um. Well, technically... Oh, okay. Um... Oh, oh, well played. No, wait. Oh. My man's got that pendulum summon coming on. F you long. Jesus, you are a word. This is something you see in the animes, man. He's definitely got me on the ropes, though, 110%. Like, literally, it just goes to show how much you can do with DD cards, though, man. It's just, it's phenomenal. King Genghis is one of the worst things you can go up against, man. It's so frustrating. All right, you can take one DD monster special summoner. It's just, it's, oh, it's unbelievable. Wow, my eyes are so well played. Hey, what? I love Taekwondo. I love. I, I just love my body aching, and like when I was me saying about addictive, yeah, I, I would. I would love to go there more than twice a week because of COVID. You can only go twice a week, but I'd, oh, I'd be so sick. Thing is, by the time you like watch this video, I've probably been there another six times. So it's just sick. Like, psh.
This guy has basically brought all these cards out out of nowhere. Well, I'll be damned. I'm going to sink into my chair and get ready to end this video. Nah, DDs are just... I, I said it, I'm pretty sure I said at the beginning how powerful they really are. Like, it's just absolutely insane. Who bring out that... Oh, you went for Supreme Doom. Okay, okay. I didn't actually expect that. Not be pendulum summoned. When this card exists summoned, you can attach one face of DD pendulum from your extra deck. Also, then you can detach one material from this card, then target monster your opponent controls. It's the number of pendulum monsters you control. Destroy them. Word. Don't get me wrong, that looks so sick on the field, man. DDD Supreme King, King Doc. It's phenomenal. I am phenomenal. One potato, two potato, three potato, four, five potato, six potato, seven potato, more. Eight potato, nine potato, I've got protection. <sighs> I activate my monster's effect. You thought this was over. You're sadly mistaken. I bring my monster to the field. And I play it in defense mode. You thought that was it? You're wrong. Oh shit, what? Oh no. Activate Soul of Disaster. Um. Oh, I think it's kind of short. Okay. See, that's only during the main phase. And then that's in my own turn. So I'll bring a Ruha out in defense mode. I've, I've got one possible play that I can come up with yet, and I don't know if it's going to work, but if it can, then we're good. Right. Unchained. Destroy you. I don't know who to get rid of. Oh, wait, he can negate. Oh, this is bad. He can negate it. Well played. Either way, I can still special summon. Activate my monster's effect. Yes. Bro, I'm running out of options here, man. I'm really running out of options. Into attack mode. Abomination and chain soul. Oh, you have to discard a card to destroy a card. No! I will not be defeated. Ugh. <sighs> This is surreal. This is actually unreal. I have one possible card I can go with. To think that bottomless trap pole is what ruined everything. It's in a joke, isn't it? Just trying to think. See, I can't even activate this because of this. Once per your turn. Okay, well, so be it. I'll activate it then. Abomination's Prison. Question is, is who do we go for? It wouldn't be too bad if I could activate it now. I'm trying to figure out. We're trying to figure out on what we can play. I don't really have much to go for, to be honest, do I? Alright, okay, so be it. We'll go with that. 
Yeah. Normal summon. No. I'm just wondering. So I can go into this and target a special summon and then basically... But then it ain't going to benefit me, is it, really? Proceed to the battle phase. No. I will attack you. Attack. Although... Oh, okay, you can't special summon for the rest of this turn. No, no. Okay. Activate Rakia's effect. Brings out... Main phase two. Activate your effect. Target you. Allows me to go into this one. I have no choice. I have to keep. I'm gonna have to keep me in the me in the care. Me in the care. Right, Unchained soul anguish. Yeah. Unchained soul anguish. Yeah. Activate your effect. Target you. Bring out abomination. And then I end my turn. Activate the effect of Unchained Abomination. Destroy that. Alright, okay. Fucking hell, that was intense. It's a complicated situation now because it's like... Okay, so now you're going to go into... Oh, okay. Well played, well played. Oh, well played. Didn't even know that I had that ability, you know. I did not even know. Oh, oh, literally, if I knew that, I would have targeted that. My bad, that's a bad mistake for me. But for me, I feel like I played that really well. Except I didn't go for... I should probably should have read all their cards, effects and stuff. But either way, man, DDs are just one... They're a tough deck to compete against. And the fact I was able to... Like, it's not over, you know what I mean? But I, I'm very limited to what I can basically do at this point. You know? Um, so, depending on what he fuses and comes together. I, I think I can turn this around. Depending on how and what he fuses. Mm -hmm. 
But this guy definitely runs this DD deck. For the stuff he's pulling out of this deck, he definitely runs this on an extreme level. Okay. Up Armageddon. Guys bring out all sorts of super dooms, man. Right, you can take one attack position once your opponent controls, destroy it, and if you, you do inflict damage to your opponent. Okay. So. Um, yeah, this is um, a complicated situation. Huh? Um, buy a special summon on level 8. I'll have to go for the 3,000 defense. That'll be destroyed in a nice special summon. Basically, I'm doing a cycle at this point. Yes. But this is great if it was special summoned and be destroyed, but... If it's card destroyed, you can tag one and chain monster in your graveyard, yeah. So go with that. Put you in defense mode. Oh, it negates the effects. Well played. Well played. Although it doesn't negate it in the graveyard. What the god tarnation is going on here, Dan? Okay. Um, I don't know what there is in thingy. We'll go with this. Whip it in defense mode. Bro, I'm holding out by a hair here, man. Aruha. Fucking ridiculous. This is absolutely insane. My word. Well, at least I know I get rid of Ragnarok now. You cannot penalize someone except DDs. This affects them once per turn. Okay. What does that do? What do you do? Oh, okay. Oh, you've... Oh, well played. <laughs> well done, man. Well done. You've set yourself up two, Ag two Ragnaroks. It's negated, though, buddy. Not today, but maybe next turn. Oh, my God. I was about to say, I was just like, what the frick? Is he seriously coming back to the field? Okay. This actually could not have worked out any better than me for me, you know. Okay. Um Definitely sh Yeah, I could have played this better. Fuck. Right, I think I've got, I think I've got, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard, I'm trying to figure this out. Doesn't benefit me in any way, shape, or form. I was hoping that might have actually worked out a bit better. One sec, right? You can take one card also. You put it. See, <sighs> yeah, it just—it's a bit of a pain, but it's fine.
This is crazy, man. This is absolutely crazy. I just need to survive one more turn and then his spells will kill him. So all I have to do is just survive one more run. That's all I have to do. <laughs> oh my God, this is insane. I ain't letting you do that play again, mate. Oh my god. This is just a joke now. Literally, this is just a joke. Oh my god. Wait, I think I I think I can win. I think I can win. So if he goes to attack that, I can special summon. Yeah. DD Lamb, it's got to be someone DD Dark contract from. Okay. But banish it when it leaves. The only thing that could screw me over is if this person does run Relinquished Anima. I, I don't think he does, but if he does, then shit. What's your effect? Oh, well played. Well played. But then I can activate its effect, can't I? Yes. I'm just wondering if it can still proceed to the battle phase. Wait. I don't really want to bring that out if... <clears throat> Ah, oh, balls. Ah, oh, no. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. This guy's going to have to pull out some out of the bag. But the problem is... Is... <clears throat> but the way I view it, I was 6,200, yeah? So... Hypothetically, if he was to fuse and go into something else, I'm not sure what though, but he's definitely going ham at the minute. So I need to be prepared of what level 8 I'm going to be target targeting to survive. I need to survive this turn. That's all I have to do is just survive it, end my turn, and we win. That's literally it. I just... Uh, well, what I could do is I could... Technically, use. Was it level eight? Yeah, special summon its effects and negate it. Okay, okay, okay. And go for maybe abomination, depending obviously what level. Oh, okay. Well played. Well played. Well played. DD Oracle arc. Well done. Well done. You protected your life points. Oh, mate, you smashed it. So, I would have to bring out a card that would benefit me. Oh, you got rid of it. Okay. See, Siegfried is one of the worst, man. It's just a nightmare. 
to an extent by face. And now he's protected himself from his own spell card. Mate, this guy knows his deck. He knows his shit. Right. Question is... Bruh, 4,200 attack we've got, you know. Jesus. See... Uh... This could not have worked out perfectly, you know. Activate Abominable and Chain Soul. Discard a card. Destroy Siegfried. Oh my god. Okay, well played. He gets increased life points by a thousand. That's fine. It's fine. The thing is, all I have to do is to go into my battle phase, attack his monster, deal 1200 damage. Oh, he went defensive. Oh, Jesus! This is intense, man. You know. This is insanity, man. I haven't been in a duel like this in bloody ages. You know what? I could have actually made this... I don't know. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. This guy. Yo. I'm getting hyped. This guy. <laughs> he must be just as panicky and on the edge as I am. Oh man. Not yet. Not yet. There's no point. There's no point. Wait, wait, wait. I need to double check something here. Uh, okay. You know what, actually? Oh my god, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wow, this could not have ended up worse. Yeah, I got I got the loop. I got the loop. We're good. We're good. got the loop you destroy me i add that card back to my hand you attack directly i special summon you destroy it i special summon abominable thingy discard a card destroy the monster on the field you know 
Yeah, that's the play I think of it. Fucking hell, man. This is a full-length anime episode here, man. Jesus Christ, you couldn't even script this shit, could you? Are you going to activate? Oh, add a dark contract. Does this guy know what he's doing? There's so much to a DD deck. Like, literally. We have to do a survive. That's it. Protect and conquer. That's it. Yo, footlog. Appreciate it. Oh, that is one of the best tools I've ever had on this game. Yo, man. Thank you. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe and share. Take it easy. Peace. Fucking hell. That was insane. <laughs>